Hi guys, this is a smoky purple look with um, one of my friends called Gemma. Hope you enjoy it guys. So for our base today, I am using the Paint Pot by MAC and this one is in Soft Ochre. So I'm just applying that with my fingers and then I'm just using the MAC 217 just to blend that out to keep it really nice and soft. So again, this will prime the eye and make sure that the eyeshadows are nice and vibrant for the rest of the evening. So this is the tight line technique using the flat eyeliner brush and I'm just pushing that into the roots of the lashes just to start off with a lovely bit of definition before we move on to the eyeshadows. So I'm just using the MAC eyebrow pencil in stud and I'm just using that just to fill in the brows, give a little bit more shape and definition there. Um, so just working really slowly just to get a really nice shape. We don't want anything that's too dramatic, but we still want to be able to define the brows um, so that it frames the face and also sets off the makeup really nicely as well. Um, so I'm just using an eyebrow groomer just to sort of groom through the brows, keeping all the hairs in place and then just dragging back with that colour just to kind of thicken it slightly and keep it all in proportion. I've used a cold pencil just to push this into the root of the lashes and what I want to do is start off a base that's going to be black and then fade into the purple as you can see on the other eye that we've already done that. Um, and then all I've used is just a sort of uh, pencil brush and I've just really smudged that out, um, keeping it nice and blended and nice and soft. taking a MAC 217 again and I'm just using that just to really fade and buff those edges out. So now on a MAC 239 I've just used the Laura Mercier eyeshadow and this one is in Noir. It's a really nice black pigmented eyeshadow um, and I've just angled my brush just to really work that into the lashes because I want all the intensity uh, surrounding almost the iris and then all the colour just to kind of bleed and fade out just around it. So this is um, the entire clip as such, all I've done is just kind of fast forwarded it a little bit but you'll be able to see um, almost from start to finish how we created this look. So I'm flitting between two brushes, we've got the MAC 239 um, and that's being used to apply the colour as you can see now and then the 217 will literally just blend that out to keep it really nice and soft, removing any harsh lines at the edges. Um, so all I did was literally just keep doing those two steps until I got the intensity that I required and also um, just taking it slightly further up um, towards the brow bone because we wanted it to, to kind of have this kind of purple haze around the eye. So just taking a little bit of cold pencil and popping that into the waterline for some more definition. So I've just taken a Laura Mercier smudge brush and I've just taken a little bit of the Sugar Pale Poison Plum Purple and I'm just running that on the lower lash line now. So this is what's going to give us that really lovely smoky look. Just taking a little bit of black and I've just popped that closer to the lash line so that you're kind of creating the same effect that you've got on the top, you're doing it on the bottom as well. I didn't want to take it too low. Um, so that we don't want to sort of close her eyes off. I've just switched to using the Laura Mercier angled eye colour brush and I've just sort of rotated it so I'm using a more pointed end just to really blend it out and keep it soft. So our last step to finish this off was just to pop a little bit of bronzer and that was just at the edges 
um, to almost meet the brow bone highlight and that just warms up the entire look, pulls everything together and just keeps it really nice and soft. So we just added a little bit of waterproof mascara because Gemma was going out on the evening um, and we wanted it to be almost sweat proof as such. So um, a little bit of waterproof mascara and um, a couple of coats just on the top and bottom lashes and then we'll apply false lashes. So the lashes that we used were the Ardell Demi Wispy lashes and these are lovely because you can sort of position them and trim them down so that they really fit the eye quite lovely. The band is also invisible which makes it really easy to use um, and almost sort of um, invisible against the lash line. Okay so we're just cleaning up now so making sure that the skin is nice and free of any fall down from any of the dark eyeshadows that we've used. You can obviously use this point to really kind of correct the shape underneath um, and just make sure that the skin is free so that when you do go to apply foundation this whole area isn't dark by any sort of eyeshadows. So just using the Laura Mercier foundation primer and then we're using the Laura Mercier silk creme foundation in sand beige. Gemma has a slight um, tan sort of from the neck onwards um, and so this foundation suits her quite well because she's quite sort of bronze um, on the body and on the neck. Um, she actually does use this foundation and really loves it. So this foundation again is quite a full coverage foundation so if you are going to use this foundation just work slowly with it until you build up the coverage that you need. Um, it's a really really lovely foundation, it's an oil free foundation so for those of you who want a fuller coverage foundation without it looking too heavy um, and have oily skin then this is a perfect um, foundation for you. The colour does look quite dark but once it's blended in it just kind of ties in with the makeup and also matches the neck and the rest of the body. As I said before, she has got a bit of fake tan on, so we do need to match that and keep that all um, uniform. So I've just taken the Derma Colour palette um, and I've just mixed a few colours to conceal underneath the eye and on any blemishes that are on the skin. Um, she doesn't generally have that many blemishes on her skin, her skin's quite clear, um, but there's just a few that we need to sort of um, take down the redness of. So again, I'm just using that on a MAC 217. I've mixed a couple of colours together just to get her colour. Um, again, this is a really full coverage. Um, it's more of a camouflage cream. You can use it as a foundation and you can also use it as a concealer. It's really good for people who've got um, rosacea or um, hyperpigmentation or even sort of birthmarks. It really, really does conceal everything. Um, and also if you use the translucent powder with it and the fixing spray that comes with it, I've really noticed a big difference. Um, the makeup tends to last on the whole evening or throughout the whole day. So we've just used the translucent powder, the Etroderma Colour translucent powder and I'm just using that on a big fluffy brush and I'm just stippling that onto the skin so as not to disturb any of the concealing work that we've done and that will obviously just lock everything into place and make sure that everything stays in place for the rest of the evening now. So here what I've done is taken a tapered pointed brush, this is a smaller version of the MAC 138 um, and so I've taken a little bit of MAC bronzing uh, powder, this is the matte one uh, and I'm just using that just to slowly start to sort of chisel um, underneath the cheekbones. Um, Gemma wanted a little bit of guidance on this so I've extended the clip slightly so she can refer back to this. Um, so as you can see here we're just taking it from the hollows of the cheeks and taking that right back and blending it up into the hairline so it looks more natural. So we used the Max Saint Germain lipstick just to give a little bit of colour to the lips. Um, her lips are quite pigmented anyway so she can actually just get away with a little bit of lip gloss or just Vaseline almost um, but just to kind of tie everything together we used something that was quite light and quite almost quite nude but still had a little bit of colour to it. And then all we did was to finish it off with a little bit of lip gloss so that gives a little bit more dimension to the lips and it's more evening I would say. Um, and this one is in uh, personal taste, this is an amplified formula so it's a little bit more thicker 
um, and it's a bit more glossier. So we just use that on the same lip brush and we're just generally concentrating it in the middle of the lips so that um, it doesn't sort of start to bleed the lipstick out. So that concludes our look for today. Uh, guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Press subscribe and leave any comments that you have below. Thanks for watching.